Well, good evening YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You noticed I'm waist rolling this here bottle. Uh, I've had this bottle for a while, to be honest with you. I bought it right before the beer festival in May. Uh, actually, I probably bought it in uh, late March, early April, and I just never got around to it. Um, yeah, it's 6.2% alcohol. It's, uh, excuse me, a wheat strong beer on Lees. It's by uh, Brassures RJ Inc., which is in Montreal. This is, uh, actually, I like the original of this. This is Cheval Blanc, but it's uh, the Double Blanc. The B Double Blanche. Uh, back here, it does say that it's best before um, it's either the 7th of December 2017 or the 12th of July 2017 so technically we're still way ahead of it because we're in December of 2016 I'm just saying that I bought this a long time ago and just never got a 55 IBU for a white beer? it's a dry, oh it's a dry hopped IPA see I didn't know that I didn't know that okay so well I should have there's two little hop flowers here. I should have figured it out. Um, yeah. Wheat strong beer on Lees. So let's uh, take this off. Let's uh, hold it over here just in case. Let's hold it over here just in case the, the top goes. Uh, right above me is the fucking lights. Right over there is the TV. So I gotta figure what is... Actually the window's over there. I shouldn't be pointing here that way either. Um, Woo! Nice smoke. I could have fired that if I wanted to. A little bit of water in there. Get rid of that. My shirt's puckered. Makes me look fatter than I actually am. So I'm slowly starting to work out again. I'm trying to get back in rhino shape. I've talked about it on a few different episodes. But yeah, I'm trying to get back into rhino shape again. And it's, uh, after all these years of not working out, it's getting hard to get back into it. Well, and I don't get any sleep, and... I have all these responsibilities. I know those are excuses, but you know it's just it's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. I have been uh, when I when I get home from work and I'm exhausted and I can't sleep. I do have uh, I do have the fucking grips and the bender bar that I do the entire time I'm watching TV. So I mean I I, I do do those, but actually get down here and and lift the big weights and uh, do the the big big exercises it's just been hard to get myself motivated and I just have to get myself motivated both for my both to make myself attractive again to the wife even though she's not doing anything to make herself attractive again to me and to make myself healthier for my kids I just have to do it And I mean, I know there's the, oh, stop drinking beer, uh, a couple beers a week isn't going to kill me if I'm actually working out. It's, uh, you need something fun in your life. So a little bit of haze, not too, too much, but I don't have the whole bottle in there. But it does have that nice haze, it does have a brassy color all the way up, a big bright white head. The tiniest amount of snap, crackle, pop. Now, like I said, this is a beer on lease, so there should be some more thickness to it. But even when I'm swirling it around, I'm not really getting much out. I mean, there we go. There's another batch of it. And it didn't get much cloudier for me. But that head is beautiful. Look at that head. That's a Duvel head right there. That's your usual Belgian-style head. That just thick, grasping, uh, beautiful head. Scent. Hmm. Now, you get that, that dry weediness off this beer. Uh, and as I said, this beer has been sitting in my house for almost eight months now. So you wouldn't think that hops would be a 
big component of it still, but there is a uh, uh, just a resiny, piney resininess as well as almost a, it, it almost smells like citra, like that that resininess. I say piney resininess because pine oil is the only real thing that comes to my mind when I think of the resininess, but it's just a bitter smell, as well as a slight touch of orange. Yeah, like orange resininess and a little bit of syrupiness mixed with that wheat dryness. It's intriguing. It's intriguing. Let's try the beer. Cheers. Cheers. Pinky up. That is one of the strangest combinations of beers I've had. And this is only 6.2% alcohol. And it has more of an alcohol... Well, it's not even an alcohol. It's from the hops. But it has more of a throat warming than some big bad beers I've had before. And that throat warming is a is a resiny hoppiness. It's just, it's just that bitter. Uh, which actually makes me think that there really was a lot of citra in this. Uh, because it's reminding me of that, that bitter that I got from that old bottle of uh, Sierra Nevada Torpedo. And I remember how much heat I got on that beer when I had an old bottle of it that didn't have any fruitiness anymore. It was just bitter. And this just has that, that same just bitter taste on the back end. But it does have a little bit of orange and a little bit of mango flavor in there as well. That almost went down the wrong hole. About medium, medium to full bodied actually. It has that, and it has some nice little carbonation. It's still light carbonation, but it just the way it plays, the way the effervescence plays across the tongue is really nice. But that, uh, the fruitiness is way, it's way overpowered by the just bitter taste on this beer. Uh, you get that bready graininess up at the forefront. Uh, it's not too sweet on the forefront, it's more just bready and grainy. So it's not as well balanced as some beers are. And Chevelle Blanc, the original Chevelle Blanc I had, uh, which I loved, I, uh, it reminded me of like uh, Ho Garden, Who Garden Light. It reminded me of that, so just a beautiful banana and orange peel and just just a beautiful beer. Where this seems like it's trying to be uh, the gnome, the, the chef, la chef brew. It uh, it seems like it's trying to be the hoppy version of that. And by that, I, I don't even know what that is fresh because that's coming from Belgium sitting in a fucking warehouse till it gets on the shelf here. So it, it would be about as old as this is when I get it. So I mean, it might actually be a pretty good interpretation of, of the hopped gnome. Um, because that's what this this taste is reminding me of, uh, is the hopped gnome more so than uh, than Who Garden, because again Cheval Blanc on its own reminds me of Who Garden, uh, but this reminds me of the the hopped one, the the Houblon Houblon uh, Chouf, Chafou Chouf, I I don't even know what gnome is in French anymore. Yeah, I took French in high school. You know how long that was. I went to grade 11, I was going to go for a bilingual certificate, so, because I lived in Ottawa at the time. And I'm like, you know what, I want a bilingual certificate, I'll take French. And I made it to grade 11, and then I moved to Arnprior, well, outside Arnprior to Brayside. And when I realized that I lived in Arnprior, and to get a good job in Arnprior, where well, there really wasn't any good jobs, but to get the better jobs in Arnprior, you no longer needed to be bilingual. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. So I took, I took French till grade 11. That was, fuck, how old would you have been in grade 11? 17? So that would have been 17 years ago. Oh, I... I don't remember much anymore. I was good in French, but, uh... I haven't used it in 17 years. Sometimes I have to listen at work. But that that's about the extent of it. Yeah, I'm, uh... 
I'm not sold on the beer. I don't think even if it was fresh, I would really like it all that much. I am pretty sure that's Citra in there. I mean, I do love Citra, but I don't know if I'd love a Citra wheat beer, to be honest with you. Is it a bad beer? No, it's not a bad beer. Is it a beer that I'm disappointed in? Uh, yes and no. I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect out of it. So, what I got isn't isn't too, too uh, different than what I probably should have expected out of it. Um, I'm going to pour all the yeast in there get all those nutrients. As much as it pisses everybody off when I drink the onlys. Excuse me. It's going to give you diarrhea. I should enough anyway. Let it give me diarrhea. Um... Now with the Allies in there, that's that's beautifully thick. That is uh, much much thicker. But I mean, I you saw me. I was weiss rolling it. I was weiss rolling it for like 30, 40 seconds before I even turned the camera on. So the fact that it took me until the bottom to get that is just kind of sad. That it must that yeast cake must have been huge. It was huge. All getting that yeast cake in there did was add a little bit more sweetness to the beer. So instead of just being like a, a weedy, grainy forefront, there's a little bit of sweetness in the weedy, grainy forefront. Then you run into a slight touch of mango, slight touch of uh, orange, and then that just uh, resonant bitterness. Um, so with, with the yeast cake, it is a little bit more balanced, but it's not, it's not great, not in my opinion at least. Um, out of 10 on the beer... Probably a six. I have absolutely no problem drinking it. It'll get you drunk. It's not a bad beer. There's no faults in it. It's just not really for me. And that's okay. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be See you soon.